Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm uh, down here as you can see in the uh, shop of mine that I posted a video on, uh, I think two, two videos ago. Um, and I'm, you can see behind me, I bought an air compressor. And uh, I'm down here tonight, it's uh, at 11.30 on Saturday night. Um, kids are asleep, so I figured I'd come down here and work uh, getting this thing set up. I got some wire to wire it into the breaker box and some uh, piping to plumb to a dryer system. And I don't have the dryer system yet, but I wanna go ahead and get some uh, line ran. That way the air has time to uh, condense down and stuff. So I got a trunk full of stuff here. I'm gonna unload on the table and we'll show you what we got. Okay, so I got everything laid out here on the table. Uh, various fittings, elbows, tees, uh, ball valves to drain air out of the system. And essentially what you wanna do, or what I'm gonna do is run, I guess it's roughly right around 25 feet of line coming out, have a, a drain here, go up, over, down, another drain, and then out to a filter, which for now I have this. Uh, it's It'll work just to get it get it going, test it out so I can blow some of the dust out of here. I'm gonna get a better filter system before I start painting in here or doing any kind of work. I'm just trying to get the compressor set up so I can do some things I need to do. I've been doing some cleaning and uh, stuff like that. So I just wanted to get this stuff down here tonight and get it done. But I have a, a diagram that I pretty much drew this out before I went and bought all this stuff. That way I knew exactly what I was gonna get, how much I needed. Pardon my crude drawing. Um, I'm not an artist, but this is essentially how I'm going to run it for now, just to get it up and running. Uh, it's going to come out of the compressor with a valve here, tee off to a drain, go up six feet over one foot, come down six feet to another tee with a drain at the bottom, and then uh, 24, no, 30 inches right here. So just a little over two feet here and uh, three feet here. So it gives me almost... 25 feet uh, give or take with the various few little fittings here and here which is uh, they say 25 feet from the compressor to in, at least 25 in between the compressor and a filter before you run your air hose out of here so that's basically what I'm gonna do and there's people on here that have some pretty intricate copper line or galvanized um, I'm kinda doing this on a budget right now to get started so I'm using uh, black pipe as long as you get rid of the moisture, rust shouldn't be an issue. Um, it's rated for a pretty high PSI. So it should be fine for what I'm gonna do, just painting, stuff like that, it's not gonna be too crazy. But first thing I'm gonna do is get this thing wired. So what it is, a cobalt, two-stage, five horsepower, uh, 175 PSI air compressor. Two-stage pump, so it's really going to not starve for air whenever I'm painting or working with a sander or an air impact. Of course, I pretty much use all Milwaukee Electric, so I won't ever use air impacts. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to show you how I'm going to wire this to the power box because I'm I'm not an electrician, and you shouldn't listen to me for how to wire stuff. You should always check the code for you where you live and get a professional electrician. Um, just a little disclaimer there. I'm going to get this wired in and get the power shut off to the box. That way uh, I'm not winding up in the hospital. There's our ground and our two powers. Just realized I didn't bring a socket set with me of all the tools that I brought. 
But this Milwaukee 11-in-1 uh, screwdriver, pull this out here, take this little bit out, slide that out, and you've got a essentially a nut driver for this little nut down here. Fits perfect. So now I don't have to run home. Okay, so I got my wire ran in through the back, up through this little holder, ground looped around to this nut right there. Two power wires up here to the top, nice and snug. Everything is good and tight, nothing touching any bare metal, so we're good there. So we just gotta finish running it, tighten that up a little bit, cut the power to the whole building, which is gonna make it pretty pitch black out here, so brought my spotlight. This thing is super bright. So I'll have it set up out there so I can see what I'm doing. Okay, so new breaker installed, double pole, 30 amp, wire ran. I'm gonna tuck it up underneath this uh, support beam right here, make it look a little cleaner. But uh, topped it off with oil, used the whole thing of this. So, got the cover back on, we're gonna flip the switch, see what it does. Moment of truth. Turned the main breaker back on, nothing, nothing weird happened, everything came back on, so we'll uh, see what happens. too loud either. So I got to run this for 30 minutes straight with no air pressure building. So that leave that side valve open and the drain valve at the bottom open. Run it for 30 minutes, break in everything, and then uh, we'll start plumbing. Okay, so compressor is all broken. Ran it for 30 minutes. Uh, no issues. Ran good, really quiet, as you heard from the, the clip when I first started it up. Um, had to put a few zip ties on this cage here because it was kind of rattling. So I'll snip these off. And, uh, that way it doesn't look so tacky with all them on there. Of course, you can't hardly see them. They're small zip ties, but just that metal on metal cage rattling. Uh, things really quiet though. I'm going to turn it on again. Not too bad at all. Can talk in here to somebody next to you and it wouldn't be a big deal so really nice uh, and I've got my plumbing pretty much laid out here coming from the compressor to a shut off valve and I still need to get a, a half inch whip hose because you don't want to solid mount any lines to a compressor because any shaking will uh, could potentially shake any uh, connections loose. Even though I'm using pipe sealant and uh, the thread tape, um, I still want to use it because it's just safer. Uh, Lowe's didn't have any half inch whip hoses in stock, so I'm, I found one on Amazon for like 18 bucks. I'll go ahead and order it. But I'm gonna do what I can tonight, get these hooked together. Uh, so it'll come out of the compressor, three quarter inch to half inch. A ball valve here to shut off any air from the lines in case I need to do anything to the compressor. Uh, into the T, from the whip hose to the T, down here to drain any moisture coming from the compressor can drop down to here to another ball valve. This is a 3 8 half inch to 3 8 Turn that to drain water. Go up, all the way up. Six feet across one foot, down six more feet, to another T, basically a mirror of this, another three-eighths ball valve to drain, and then three feet over to this just temporary uh, cobalt water filter, contaminant filter, whatever you really want to call it. Um, the one I want to get is they, they didn't have it there, so I'll have to order it online as well. Uh, Lowe's really doesn't carry many uh, desiccant filters for painting. They really just carry this. So I'm going to get its a uh, desiccant filter, oil, water filter, and then regulator 
So it's a three step system. I'll probably keep this too, just beforehand and then run the other ones. That You know, you can never have too much filtration with air. So, and I wanna just keep this. It was relatively cheap. I mean, it was like 30 bucks. I think all this line together, including the double pole 30 amp breaker and 25 feet of 10-2 wire was 100 and, 130 bucks. So it's not too bad for a you know a good amount of distance lines running from the compressor to an air hose. Sucks I couldn't find the whip hose because I really wanted to finish this tonight, but there's really no sense in rushing it. I don't want to hard mount this stuff. But what I will do is get this stuff pipe doped and uh, thread taped get it solid where I can, you know, move this part around and everything, mount it to the wall. Bit of a long screw for that. It's hard to get that started without a pilot hole. But... Okay. There's that going up. If I have to move it over, I will move that out of the way, but. This is mainly mock-up. I will eventually, possibly tonight, get all this uh, pipe sealed and all that good stuff. Just wanna see where I'm at in regards to uh, positioning all these lines. So I'm just gonna loosely thread all these on here. some supports right here on this to hold that. It is right on that beam. That's perfect. Something satisfying about that. I don't, I don't know what it is. Stuff just kind of, oh man, look at that. With Lined up perfectly. So I can secure it all nice and tight and then have a filter right here and I'll just probably cut a little two by screw it into this that way I can mount it right here and have my airline coming out because what I'm wanting to do is have toolbox here work area you know build a my booth here in this whole area because there's plenty of room for a car on either side to paint it this is my CRV but both sides plenty of room around the back I mean, all the room you wouldn't in the world you'd need up top. Room in the front. Of course, there's not room for a car and bumpers in here, but you know, that's not the end of the world. It's a DIY kind of place for right now. I mean, heck, my booth walls are gonna be plastic. Okay, so we got our three quarter to one half inch adapter, Teflon taped. So we're gonna put this on it. Pipe thread sealant, just a few little dabs around the threads and screw it in here. I mean, you don't need much of this stuff. Not much at all. Just a few little dabs on the threads. And that way, when this gets sealed, tightened, no air leaks. I probably put way too much. That's a bit of a mess, but. so windy this shop and as well as my house are right at the foot of a mountain and uh, the wind blows it it blows we're down here in a valley I left my dang channel locks at home so you don't want to overdo it on tightening these but you want it tight, you want it snug. Now oh, that's good right there. There we go. That ain't going anywhere. So now we'll do the half inch part, which I have to clean off. I've dropped it in the dirt. So that'll go in here and then 
Go to the ball valve. Final part for this part here is the half inch ball valve. All right, there we have it. Three quarter inch to a half inch to a half inch ball valve. And then we will run a half inch NPT whip hose to right there. It's gonna go up, across, and down, over. I'm gonna cut a little piece of two by to mount that filter tube on that back wall. So luckily I brought the uh, circular saw. I got that probably is a Milwaukee. Good old school Makita circular saw. About here. I'm gonna countersink some screws into it and then mount the filter right there. When I get the other one, the other filters that I'm gonna get, I'll probably just cut a longer two by. enough to hold it, that's all I need. That is pretty much where it's gonna sit, nice and level. Oh, that's nice and clean. That makes me happy. I love when stuff looks good and clean, especially piping, you want it to look nice. So we'll have a three feet whip hose coming out of here. That way any vibration is absorbed in that hose before it gets to here. T into here. Got our drains. Go up. Again, I know I've done this a few times, but man, I'm just really happy with how clean that is. And when I get my other desiccant filters, I'll run it after this and just keep it tapering down. Get another two by, mount it to that, and uh, be ready to go. I, this is the only thing I uh, thread sealed here because I don't want to get myself in a bind with tightening this and not being able to get them tight to the right angle. So I just loose, loosely did this here. That way when I come back after I get my hose to final mount all this stuff, I can final mount everything here, thread seal it, uh, Teflon tape it, everything starting from there, working my way down to here. That way when I'm done here, it's good and tight and I can dismount this and push the whole thing out because it's not exactly bolted down. It's just hanging on those screws right there at the elbow. So I can take the whole thing and pull it out, get that threaded nice and tight, mount it back, and then won't have to touch it. I'll probably get some uh, little, you know, pieces to mount here, and uh, that way it's not vibrating or anything. But yeah, that's pretty much how the setup's going to be. Compressor, about 25-ish feet of line. Might get a longer whip hose so it can kind of coil to add more length. Drain, drain, dryers, and then have my air running where I'm going to be painting over here and air tools anywhere else and I can always add more stuff you know at that union that's why I'm doing a whip hose so I can tee off from there if I want to run anything else that I'm not too concerned about needing dry air like painting um, I mean all tools need dry air so I could always add an extra like a T out of here or something, you know, and, and you can do whatever, pretty much whatever you want with these lines. You can cut and rethread. So hopefully I won't have to do that, but just, just rambling. I kind of, I tend to ramble a lot when I make videos. My mind moves so fast sometimes, but uh, that's pretty much going to do it for this one, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I know it probably might not be the most entertaining video, but for those of you who are interested, 
you know, hopefully you enjoy it. So, um, like I said, when I get that other stuff in and the dryer, the desiccant filter and stuff like that, we'll uh, final mount install this stuff and test it out, you know. Might paint something, who knows. Um, appreciate y'all watching. It is uh, two in the morning. I'm gonna get out of here and get to bed. My Red Bull's wearing off. See y'all in the next one. Peace out.